Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. I'm engineer Yasser Mohammed Bayati from Baghdad, Iraq. I had a master degree in materials engineering from Al Mustansiri University College of Engineering. I'm working as a QC engineer authorized inspector. I'll talk about the study that's known as Wave Transit Time in Polymer Mortar Composites that are submitted to International Journal of Science and Research, that's known as IJSR. The aim of this this study is measuring the wave transit time in polymer mortar composites in different temperatures percentage and evaluate the best percentage. I was measuring the time transmitted between two surfaces of polymer mortar composites and evaluate two different types of polymer and different in percentage of polymer and sad addition also between two temperatures at room temperature and when post cured at 50 degrees centigrade using two types of polymers. Ultrasonic wave transmitted along direct path was measured. Tests were conducted on plain concrete of dimensions 50 millimeters cubic for a cube. Direct ultrasonic wave transmission tests were conducted between top and bottom surfaces of the cube. A test procedure described in British Standard PS 1881, Part 203, for 1986-2003. To determine wave velocities was refined by defining the number and spacing of transducers. The following correction is recommended by Ryan and the British Standards to measuring the velocity. We have the equation V equal to L over T, where V equal to velocity L capital A path length in meter, the unit is meter, and T small t transit time in microsecond. So we can find the velocity of wave in the concrete in meter over microsecond. A higher velocity usually means a better concrete quality, strength, durability, and dimensional stability. Dry cracks in concrete member may be detected and their depth and inclination assessed by carefully measuring time versus distance relationships for longitudinal pulses, cavities, and micro cracks fields can be detected under suitable conditions. Practically, in order to achieve the scope of this study, the mixes were divided into sets for each polymer at room temperature and when post cured for three hours at 50 degrees centigrade. Two sets of mixtures were prepared that consist of mortar and polymer to fabricate the polymer mortar composites. The first set include polymer mortar with ratio 1 by 1 cement sand without water, while the other set include mortar with ratio 1 by 2 cement sand without water. Each set was consisting of different percentage of polymer 50 by 50, 40 by 60, 30 by 70, the polymer was epoxy which is added to the mortar. After mixing the resin with the hardener, the effect of curing was studied for both sets by preparing the two sets at room temperature about 25 degrees centigrade and other were post cured at 50 degrees centigrade for three hours. The polymer mortar with different proportions was prepared by using electrical mixer. For each polymer, the resin mixed with the hardener for 2 to 5 minutes. When it's cured, then cement and sand were mixed for 5 minutes. After complete homogenization, the polymer mortar were introduced in the mixture. By mixing them for 10 minutes until achieving a homogeneous mix. After complete mixing, 
the polymer mortar was poured in molds. The molds were coated with mineral oil to prevent adhesion of polymer mortar. Polymer mortar casting was accomplished in three layers. Each layer was compacted by using vibrating device for one to one and a half minutes. You, until no air bubbles emerged to the surface of the casting. The specimens were demolded after curing at room temperature for casting and left for 24 hours to complete curing. The characteristics of polymer mortar composites was experimentally determined for polymer mortar composites tested at room temperature. The ultrasonic test is a useful tool for assessing the uniformity of the polymer mortar composites and detecting the transmitting time of waves. It gives useful information about cracks and the interior structure of polymer mortar specimen. Results of the ultrasonic wave transit time for all proportions at room temperatures and when post-cure at 50 degrees centigrade are clear in these charts. For each proportion, polymer mortar, compo polymer mortar composites with high mortar content showed that an increase in wave transit time as compared with that of high polymer content. This behavior can be understood to the surface texture and high density of mortar. The increase in the wave transit time of polymer mortar composites as a result of homogeneity and high density as well as the wave transit time in ceramic materials, cement and sand is higher than the polymeric materials. So find that the increasing that increasing sorry increasing the proportion of polymer less wave transit time it clearly appears that the ultrasonic pulse velocity values of a quick mast 105 are higher than of ripcon ir polymer mortar composites with variation in proportion of cement to sand and also for polymer to mortar ratios give high wave transit time. This behavior can be understood to the voids contained in the specimen due to lack of penetration of the polymer in the mortar and also because of low density. The composite that gives the best results is due to good permeability of epoxy between mortar particles and minimize the voids in the composites. All the specimens tested for ultrasonic pulse velocity ranges between 13.9 microseconds to 16.4 microseconds, which can be referred to the homogeneity of the composites. And we achieved from this study the addition of polymer mortar increase and affect the behavior of concrete and transit time could be affected with varying in polymer and sound percentages thank you very much thank you and goodbye